Hey, I just want to show you how to manipulate these switches in layout mode. They're really easy to change their formatting and have them call different scripts and stuff. Um, same, same idea of the switches that we're using here, but uh, let's play with this one and I'll uh, kind of show you how it works. So drop in a layout mode, make sure the background's locked. And we have a bunch of objects here. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key as I select each one and drag it up. Whoop. Hold on the shift key and select and drag up. There we go. Um, and I'll bring that to the front, arrange, bring the front, just in front of that little bar. So this is really all we have to do. Um, there's a third object down here. Um, I'm gonna grab this guy and pull it down. So there's this little shadow. Um, that's one pixel below the object here. I'm just gonna hit Z, kind of undo that. Um, so you can see that that little gray line down here. So it's nice to drag the top object up because when I drag it back down, you'll see it will align with the graphic here. It won't align with the uh, gray underline. So if we want to change the script this calls, you just double click on it and the script is, whoop, don't click too much. And the script is right here, perform script, toggle use simple views. That's only on the top graphic, that's no problem. So how do we change the behavior? Well, each of the graphics is conditionally formatted. So all we want to do is go into conditional formatting and select hide if using the simple views. Basically hide this if the switch is on. So in our case, the switch is on when this field is set to yes. And we just set the fill color to blankness, right? That'll say, hey, we're, we're normally set to fill this with a graphic, right? If I grab the inspector, you'll see that the appearance is set to fill with this image. Our conditional formatting just turns that off, revealing the image below, uh, which is very cool, right? So when the switch is on, we just see the image below. You can conditionally format the one below it too if you want to. You don't really have to. It's the same thing. It's just backwards. If this is, is not yes, then fill it with blankness. So basically what happens if we go into browse mode, I've left this, uh, left this guy up, right? So the switch is on. If I click it again, the switch will go off. And now we'll see an image here, but not one here. You don't necessarily have to turn this one off, but I do just in case there's any bleed through or whatever. So once we've moved them up like this, how do you put them back? Um, and the way to put them back is just grab this guy, hold down the shift key. And if you've moved it to the top, it'll get that blue alignment, that horizontal alignment line when it's aligned with the graphic below it. And you can still see this little bit of light gray below there. So that's it. Um, pretty easy to assign these to new scripts, conditionally format them, use them for other things. Um, piece of cake. The difference between these switches, right, and these that say something, well, not sources, sorry, that say something different, right, say include or omit, is simply that we've chosen a different graphic, right? If I go over here and grab the inspector, you can see that this has just got a different image below it. So feel free to grab these images if you want. Um, uh, change them in Photoshop to say different things. If you need to copy that in Photoshop, just let us know. Um, but for uh, Boolean switches like these, uh, you'll, you, I think this is really easy, the little X and checkbox. At any rate, I hope that helps.